Hello. Good evening. How are you today? Hello. Anybody is available? Hello, Maritza. How are you? Me escucha, Maritza. Ah, yes. Good, e good, good evening. Night. Good ah. evening, teacher. Hello. How are you today? Um, uh, my day is, was very sleepy, but great. It was great. Okay. What did you do? ¿Qué hizo ahora? What did you do? Uh, sleepless. Uh, ah. En pasado, slept. I slept. slept. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> It's okay. I every day. Every day. Every day. <laughs> okay. All day. Todo el día. All okay. day. All day. Okay. All okay. day. And in what? Todo el día. What? Well, in okay. Yeah. Todo el día. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. Um. In what do you remember about yesterday's class? Um, remember. Um. Uh, 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 shoe. Uh, shoulder um, mm -hmm. uh, and also also um, uh, should have should have debería haber uh -huh. Debe, uh, have, uh -huh. uh, what else presentation de connectors uh -huh. connectores uh, uh -huh. connectors, uh -huh. connectors. Do, you remember, do, you, do you remember the connector recuerda los conectores cuáles más um, o menos cuáles eran Finally, finally, uh, excellent. Possible. Uh -huh. um, yes. Uh, in fact. In fat, uh, uh -huh, in fact. Yes. Fat, uh, uh -huh. um, <laughs> okay, excellent. Very good. Okay, and so uh, the homework for today or no homework for today? No homework. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. No homework. It's okay. So, um, what else? Uh, can you give me an example using the past models? Un ejemplo usando el, el should have or could have or would have. Example. Um, it's okay. I, 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 I wait. I can wait. Okay. An example. Hello. David, hello, Milagros. Hello, mister. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. So far, so good, sir. Okay. That's nice. What about you? Fine. Fine. Everything I'm good. Honestly, I'm a little bit sad. Oh, really? Why? Because this is our last class. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, yes. Today is the last day, right? Today is the last yeah. day. Okay, but you are going to continue in the pre-advanced, right? In the pre-advanced module. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's you're fine. right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Okay. Okay. Nice you. okay. Okay. So, uh, what do you remember about yesterday's class, uh, Milagro? Yesterday, I remember. Uh, we were talking about morals, about um, the usage of could specifically, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. could have been about the structure. About the structures? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Could have been. Uh-huh, yes, okay. Okay, uh-huh, and... Yes, right. Okay, so en Maritza me, me dijo que me iba a decir este una una oración, ¿verdad? Okay. Um, eh, la voy a hacer. Ahorita ya se la digo. It's okay. It's okay, Maritza. No problem. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Very good. So we're going to continue with the class. I'm going to share with you the... Oh, we have six participants, right? Okay, yes. Okay. Hello, David. How Good are evening. you? Good evening. Good <laughs> evening.
Hello, good evening. It's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, so yesterday we were talking about, uh, I don't see the PDF, ah, here, here we go. So uh, I'm going to share with you the PDF. So yesterday we were talking about uh, the cool have, right? Yes, cool have, cool have gone, cool have gotten cool lost. Have sent. Yes, cool right? Have. Uh -huh. Could have had, yes, exactly, right? Pude right. haber hecho, okay? O pudiste haber hecho, right? That's nice, very good. Uh, let me see. Where, okay, aquí lo voy a poner esto. Okay, so uh, for example, uh, for remember about yesterday, so we have your friends. It says, what can you see in this picture? Vamos a ver si ven la imagen. What can you see in this picture? So in this picture, oops. No veo la barra. Okay, okay uh -huh. what can you see in this uh, picture right now? In the number six. In the number six. I wrote uh, the friends uh, skating in their, in their eyes. Uh -huh. um, the, uh, the eyes, right? In, in, in the um, violator, violate, violate, okay. on, violate. On a lake, on a lake. On a lake, okay. Yes, okay, so you have a, a go skating on the town pond, right? En el estanque, en el, la laguna. Okay, fall through the ice, right? So if we are going to work with um, this, so what it will be the the structure of the sentence? If, so in this one, uh, you say your friends, right? If you ask me, so we're going about this. Let me see, I want to, I want to remark. Okay, give me a second. This one, using this. Shouldn't have. Uh huh. Oh, so, okay. is, 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 you ask me? If um, you ask me. Uh, uh, they. Your friends, uh huh. They. Your friends, your day. Mm -hmm. Should, 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 should be. Shouldn't um, have. Shouldn't uh, should have. have um, uh, children. Yeah, excuse me. Children have. Huh? Shouldn't have skating, skating in gone, is gone, gone, gone. Ah, go. gone. Gone. Uh -huh. Remember the very simple past participle like this. Gone. Yes, yes, yes. Gone. Gone. Skating. Skating on the, on the town, town pond. Town pond. Uh -huh. Town pond. On the town pond. Okay. So you are right. The answer is you are right, and you have a fall through the ice. They could have, have. Uh -huh. in past participle, fallen. fallen through the ice, right? Yeah. Through the ice, right? So if you ask me, your friends shouldn't have gone skating on the town pond. You are right. They could have fallen through the ice, right? Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Very good. What about uh, this one? Are you with, with a police officer uh, win up in jail, right? Win up in jail. So, excuse me, teacher. Uh, argument, argument is meaning um, argument. Discuss, discuss, but with in a stronger tone. Discuss. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Discuss in a stronger uh, tone, right? So, uh, so uh, if you ask me, uh, the subject is that, my dad. <laughs> so you have a... a it's him. Uh, it's he, right? If you ask me, uh, what it would be? If you ask me, my dad shouldn't have... have shouldn't have... Argue, argue, um, argue, 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 argue. With a Are police you? officer. Officer, yes, you are right. You are he right. He could have grew up. Could have grew grew wound, wound up. Wound, wound up in the in, in jail. Wound jail. up in, in jail, mm -hmm. right? Wound up in jail. So wound up in jail is like a synonym for a, uh, for example, when you uh, take when you are taken to the jail, right? When you are taken to the jail. <clears throat> or oh, for example, um, 
So you finish in the jail. It's a synonym for you finish at the end in the jail, right? Okay. So, uh -huh. so okay, so today we have um, this discussion, right? These questions that we have to discuss, permit me. I don't know, I don't know if you can see them. So it's the homework about yesterday, right? Can you help me to read the instruction, please? Uh, Milagros? No sé si, pero si se ve. Yes, yes. Oye, yes, la, la, sure. the signal is, is very, very nice. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so the sure, sure. word. Okay, uh, provide three possible reasons for mm -hmm. each of the statement below. Mm -hmm. Use may, might have, must have, and could have. Follow the examples. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, okay. Another person for reading the examples. Thank you, Milagros. Otra persona que me lea los ejemplos. Thank you. Okay, teacher. My brother never got married. Okay, yes. Number two, all the class were cancelled today. Uh -huh. yes. Number three, Mitchell is 40 and the Jews becomes a doctor. Uh -huh. BK. Number four, BK. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Uh, four, Rachel grew, uh, grew up in New York, but uh, now she lives in Sao Paulo. Uh -huh. Number five, they have one shield. Um, then they uh, adopted, 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 adopted huh? their mom. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Excuse me? No, 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 no nothing. Uh -huh. Number six. They have their their honeymoon a honeymoon in the US a, instead of in France. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Okay, so you have a, a Michael, right? Michael here. Michael became a doctor, right? Thank you so much, David. Thank you so much. Uh, another person who helped me with the example. Uh, let me see. The, where are you? <laughs> I don't see it, the participants. Okay. Yeah, you uh, <laughs> Okay. Volunteer to help me to read the example and the three possible uh, possible situations. Uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, the number one using mm -hmm. the the same example. My brother never got married. The uh -huh. answer for me mm -hmm. will he have another project in your life other than marriage in his life uh -huh. in his life excellent very good yes another project in his life okay he could have uh, <laughs> he, uh -huh. uh, can you repeat the answer please uh, 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 Geraldine she he, uh, no. uh, have another project uh -huh. your life other his, than uh -huh, in his life, okay? He could have had another project in his life. Very good, okay? Nice, very good. My brother never got married. He could have had, el pudo haber tenido, otros proyectos en su vida, other projects in his life. Okay, very good, excellent, nice. Okay, uh, I have a chat here from, uh, good evening, Nelson. Hasta lo veo, good evening as well. Okay, so in the number two, uh, so the example is John is late for dinner, right? This is the example. This example, uh, he might have gotten stuck in traffic. Uh, él pudo haberse atorado en el tráfico. Puede estar en el tráfico. And he must not have taken his cell phone. Él pudo no haber tomado su celular. Uh, or he could have had an important meeting at work. O él pudo haber tenido a ver. Este es a ver, verdad? Y este es Eh, tenido, haber tenido una importante reunión en el trabajo. Ok, now the number two. Volunteer for the number two. Maybe Patricia Castellanos, tal vez. Teacher. Sí. I wrote in the number one that uh, he might have been a shy person, uh -huh. a very shy person. Uh -huh, in the number good. one. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He might have been a very shy person. Yes, excellent, very good. Nice, very good. He could have been, el pudo haber sido a shy mm -hmm. person, right? Excellent. Now with the number mm -hmm. two. 
Okay, for the number two. Oops. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not sure, but I'm I'm gonna try. Okay, uh, it's okay. It, it might have had any complication. Uh huh. He could. It, uh, okay. It 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 might have or it could it could have had uh, any complication. Uh huh. Okay. All the classes were canceled today. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Because there's not a subject. Uh huh. So, but but if in the study it can be the classes, right? They. It could uh -huh. be. Uh -huh. So they might have been canceled. Ellas pudieran haber sido canceladas. They excellent, very good. They might okay. have been canceled today. Okay. okay. Thank you. Who has the number three? ¿Quién tiene la número tres? Norma dice. Okay. 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 <laughs> <You're> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. No. Who has the number three? <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. A volunteer. I wrote one teacher. Ah, okay. Okay. Can you, can you read it, please? Uh -huh. Michael is 40 and he just be became a doctor. Okay, yes. Uh -huh. He could have stopped studying for a couple of years. Yes, he could have stopped studying. For uh -huh. a Stop studying. He could have. In negative, it could be he could have studied. El no, el pudo no haber estudiado. He couldn't have studied también. Pero very good, very good, excellent. Now, mm -hmm. Geraldine, yes. Eh, otra es, it could be that he decided to be a doctor too late. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. He could be, he could have been decided. El pudo haber, he could have, uh, he could have decided. So, he uh -huh. could have decided. El pudo haber decidido. He could have decided. Um, to be a, a doctor later. He could okay. have decided to be a doctor later. Ah, uh, usamos el, el comparativo de late, later. Okay, so, okay, that's nice. Uh, now the next one, the number four. Rachel grew up in New York, but now she lives in Sao Paulo. What is What do you think is the answer? Uh, maybe she could have moved to another country for work. Uh, excellent. She could have moved uh -huh, to another country for working. Recuerde que siempre que tenga el for y después el verbo, ese verbo lo va a poner con ing. For working, for studying, okay. for living, all, all the time, all the time. Ah, okay. Excellent. No, but it's bien. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Or she might have gone to Sao Paulo to study in a better university. Uh -huh, yes, she might have gone oh. to Sao Paulo mm -hmm. for studying in, in a university. Okay, excellent, very good. Mm -hmm. Now, the number five. They had one child and then they adopted three more. Huh. They had one child and then they adopted three more. Three more, right? Volunteer to read a possible... Reason for this situation? They could have wanted to make their family bigger, teacher. Mm -hmm. Excellent. C can you repeat? He could. They, they, they could, could have wanted uh -huh. to could make have, uh -huh. their family bigger. Uh -huh. Yes, they could. Oh. They could have they... wanted. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Very good. They could have had fertility problems. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Yeah. Yes, it's a possibility. Yes, they could have had fertility problems, right? Okay. In the number six, eh, me puede ayudar a leer la número seis, eh, Maritza Elizabeth. Me ayuda a leer la seis. Solo leer. Yes, yes, teacher. Yes. They had their honeymoon in the U.S. Mm -hmm. instead of in France. Okay. Yes, in France, right? They have their honeymoon, la luna de miel, the honeymoon in the U.S. instead of, of in France. Okay, so for the possible reason for the number six. Okay, what is the meaning of instead? instead. En lugar de. Instead mm -hmm. of. Instead of. Como la tiene la D entre dos vocales. Instead of. Mm -hmm. Instead no. of in France. Yes, en lugar de. Okay, so a possible reason for this situation? They could have spent less money uh -huh. because U.S. is cheaper than France. 
Uh -huh, yes. They could. They uh, might have spent a lot of money in their wedding party. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Very good. Excellent. 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 To all your possible reason, possible answers to this situation. Where do you have the reactions? Reactions. Let me see. Okay. Do you have any question about this? No. No questions. No questions no. so far? No. Okay. Okay. So we are going to move to the uh, this part of the book, right? So we have a, another past model. So we have a, he must have overslept. So what can you see in this picture? Tell me, what can you see in the picture? The guy is getting job late. Uh-huh, yes, he's gotten, uh-huh, yes, he's getting late, uh-huh, he's coming late. Yeah. Uh-huh, and in the other ones? Huh? Okay, so uh, can you help me to read, please, the title? Uh, no sé si Norma. Norma, me ayuda a leer el título. Este que está aquí. Sí, sí, sí. Yes, please. He must have overslept. Okay. Ajá. He must have overslept. Él pudo haberse quedado dormido, ¿verdad? <laughs> no sale recta, pero ahí va la línea. Okay. He must have overslept, right? So you have uh, all the subjects, all the personal pronouns, and you have a uh, must have eaten, must have gotten, must have studied, right? And remember that the, the moral must is um, an obligation because it's something like a, a responsibility. It's something important to do it, important to do it. It's something um, that you have to do it because it's necessary, right? because it is almost obligation, right? When you have must. Okay, now the letter A and the letter B. Okay, can you be the letter A, uh, Patricia Esmeralda? ¿Será que puede ser la letra A? Yes. Okay, the letter A. And the letter B, uh, no sé si Geraldine. Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay, empieza Patricia Esmeralda a leer la Richard. Okay, Richard came to work day to day. Mm -hmm. I am really surprised to hear that. He never comes to work late. Mm -hmm. I know he must have overslept. Overslept. You're probably right. You're probably right. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Nice. Okay, so uh, do you have any question with vocabulary or pronunciation so far? Mm -hmm. Yes? No, teacher. Okay. No questions? No, no, nobody has questions, no. Everything is clear in this conversation? Yes? Yes. Okay, okay. Richard came to work late today. Okay, I'm really surprised to hear that. He never comes, comes because it's third person singular, to work late, right? No, it's work, it's work. Así como la canción de Rihanna. Work, 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 right? Es casi como una E, esta O de, del work. Se suena como work. Por eso la canción de Rihanna suena como work, 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 work. Okay, I know he must have overslept. You're probably right, right? Okay, so uh, we have, um, we are going to do the similar with the number one or three. But I'm going to send you the picture. Déjenme hacerlo un poco más. Just let me to send you the, the picture. Give me a second. If it queda aquí en medio. Okay, just give me. Tengo que hacerlo incluso más pequeño. Okay, so we are going to work with the number one to number four for this. Give me a second. Okay, so. Uh, Eh, quiero ver, permíteme, ¿dónde está su grupo? Aquí está. I'm answering to your classmate, to Betty and to the other classmate. I'm going to send you to the group. Give me a second, give me a second. Give me a sec. Okay, so there you have the conversation and then you have uh, the options in the WhatsApp group. Okay, so uh, what are you, what are we going to do? We're going to work with these options 
I'm trying to move in this. We are going to work with these options. So for example, you have the number four, Peter handed, handing his homework late this morning. Okay, so here we are gonna say, ¿qué vamos a decir aquí? Este, quiero ver, esto lo voy a quitar. So, no vamos a decir Richard, ¿verdad? Vamos a decir? Peter, Peter. Uh -huh. Peter, Peter what? Handed. Handed, handed all of this one, right? Peter handed his homework late this morning, right? Entonces, todo esto es la A, está, ¿verdad? So, mm -hmm. I'm really surprised to hear that. Eso lo voy a dejar igual. He never, o she never, o, ajá, uh ajá, -huh. uh -huh. o, oh, ajá, uh -huh. she never. Aquí, ¿qué, qué vamos a poner? En vez de comes to work late. He never, hands in, he never hands in his homework late. Okay. Ajá, esto lo pasamos a usarlo uh -huh. con he, por eso le agregamos S, ¿verdad? He never, incluso, incluso si usamos always, never, sometimes, el verbo siempre se va a conjugar, por eso tiene la S. ¿verdad? He never hands in his homework late. In this morning no es necesario, ¿verdad? Eso no, solo va en la primera. I know he must, he must what? He must have. He must get. I don't know. I can see that. I can see it, you, the number four. I cannot see it. Number four, ah, yes. Ah, yes. Okay. He must. Okay. Aquí, must aquí está. Have, have. Must have had. A problem with his computer? He must have. Yeah, excellent. Very good. He must have a problem with his computer, right? Esto de aquí iría donde está lo verde. He must have had a problem with his computer. O sea que en la imagen que les mandé no, no iban a, a comer, si se ve. Right? Sí, sí se ve. Okay. So, um, so he must have had, él debió haber tenido un problema con su computadora, ¿verdad? Peter, Peter handed, oops, Peter handed his in his homework late this morning. Entonces dice, Pedro entregó su tarea tarde esta mañana. Yo en verdad estoy sorprendido de escuchar eso. Él nunca entrega su tarea tarde. He never hands in his homework late. I know he must have had a problem with his computer. You are probably right. ¿Verdad? Lo que le voy a poner de color... Eh, de color, ¿qué? De color celeste. Eso lo va a dejar igual. Lo de eso lo va a dejar igual, lo de celeste, ¿verdad? Really so... <risa> ok, ese lo va a dejar igual, pero cuando son largas me cuesta que queden rectos. Ok, so, ajá, esta de aquí también la va a dejar igual. Entonces, el never también, the same. Ok, entonces lo que va a cambiar es eh, lo de anaranjado, ¿verdad? Y lo de verde solamente. Y ahí lo de celeste, the, the blue, the light blue lines are going to be the same, right? The light blue, light, light blue sentences, you are gonna keep them uh, as the same, right? Only you have to change the information, the orange and the green information. Is clear what are you gonna do? Yes or no? Yes, it is. Okay, oh, you have to choose only one. You only have one. to choose only one, yes, only one. And you are gonna, and then you are gonna read them to the class. I don't know yes. if it is clear the instruction. Yes, I have finished. Ah, okay, you have finished. Okay, can you read yours? Uh, number Please. one. Okay, yes. Number one. Um, Maria missed English class all last week. Uh -huh. yes. I'm really surprised to hear that. She never missed classes. Uh -huh. I know she must have been very sick. Uh, yes, right. She must have been very sick. Excellent. Ella debió haber estado muy enferma. She must have been very sick. Okay, very vamos. Sick. Excellent, very good. Vamos a esperar a los otros compañeros que terminen. Okay, okay. If you have any questions, so you can ask me, right? Eh, algunos compañeros de ustedes quizás lo hacen un poquito más despacio. Okay, so uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me, right? Remember that the verse, most of them are in past participle. Okay.
Okay, uh, any doubt? No, okay, I don't know if you have any questions so far about the exercise. Question, questions? Mm -hmm. Me, no, teacher, no. finish. Okay, can you read yours, please? Uh, yeah. Okay. Is the, the number two. Mm -hmm. Gary skipped to serve for a restaurant today. Mm -hmm. I'm really surprised to hear that. Mm -hmm. He never skipped the Sarah restaurant. Uh -huh. I know he must have gone on a diet. <laughs> You're probably right. Excellent, right? He must have gone on a diet. Él debió haber estado a dieta. En una dieta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He never skips. Uh -huh. He never This skips. Excellent, very good. Excellent. Okay. Okay, alguien más? Somebody else for the number three? Uh -huh. Alguien más? Somebody else? Somebody else? Hmm? <laughs> Yes, for the number three, Mrs. Grimsley, la señora Grimsley, porque tiene la S, ¿verdad? Si fuera señor es Mr. But this one is Mrs. Mrs. Grimsley. Uh, Mrs. Grimsley smile at her employees this morning. Be in a very good mood. <laughs> Be in a very good mood. In a surprise. <laughs> So, she never uh, she never smiles. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she never smiles. Okay. So volunteer for the number three or lo escojo yo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good teacher. Juan David. <laughs> Ahí le corresponde. <laughs> or Ronald. I don't know if Ronald wants to participate. Or, or, or volunteer. Right, Sorry? I'm still working on that. Ah, okay. Okay, it's okay, Ronald. No problem. This is Ronald que pase David. Okay. Yes. No problem. No problem. Okay. Hey, qué bueno que ahora todos se escuchan, teacher. Eso es buenísimo. Okay, that's nice. Okay. okay. Bueno, ya, ya dijo la, la primera, ¿no? Uh -huh. Mrs. Mrs. Grizzly smile at her employees. Mrs. Smile at the hair and appliances. Um, this morning. This morning. Uh -huh. This morning. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, Mrs. Okay. Um, uh, Celeste. Uh -huh. Yes, little bit. Uh -huh. I'm really surprised to hear that. She never, um, never uh, smile, smile, mm -hmm. smile it, uh, at their, uh, at their, at air uh -huh. employees. Employees, uh huh. Employees, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, I now have a uh, she, uh, she must have been. She must have been, been in the in a very good uh, mood. Uh -huh. You are probably right. Uh -huh. Excellent, okay. very good. Excellent. Nice, okay. nice, David. Okay, uh, yes, chance, I know. Chance, chance. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't see the picture. Uh, the <laughs> ah, okay. Excuse, okay. Excuse me. I, no problem. <laughs> No problem. Teacher, I heard you like 
a nice baby. <laughs> ah. Ah. Very nice baby. baby. When he said very nice baby, I I heard uh, a <laughs> nice, really? very nice baby. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> I think. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna continue. So uh, with this one, it is with must have and the very past participle, no questions, right? No questions. And, um, no. no. Question. no. Okay, that's nice, very good. Okay, thank you for all your participations. So um, we have uh, this one, uh, that is the last one. Uh, this is the last uh, past model. She might have gone to the bank, right? She might have gone to the bank. Este ya es el último. Okay, ella pudo haber ido al banco, ¿verdad? She might have gone to the bank. And then you have uh, all the personal pronouns. Might have eaten, might have gone, or may have eaten, or may have gone. That they are very similar, but remember that uh, the slightly different between might and mate is that one is a possibility, right? The mm -hmm. one of them is a possibility. Mm -hmm. And also, and also you have a, let me see what else. Okay, and also you have a mate that is like um, in formal, is used in formal situations. Also in formal situations. Might is when you have uh, the facts uh, for seeing a possibility, something to happen, right? Uh, quiero ver, lo estoy buscando, pero no lo encuentro. Okay, it's, um, it's clear what is the difference between may and might? Those past models? Mm, yes? No. No, oh. <laughs> no, no teacher. Uh, no. Okay, so also remember that uh, may is very formal, right? So you use them in formal mm -hmm. situations. And also you have uh, the past model might is, for example, when you have something, uh, when you see something that could happen. For example, you say it might rain, okay? So um, might is probability, right? Might is probability. And may is possibility that they are very similar, actually, yeah, okay? Yeah. Yes, right? Both... Um, may possibility. May is possibility. And might is probability because... Probability. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, example, 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 teacher. I, I might uh, have a uh, win the lottery, lottery, the lottery. Uh -huh. Yes, and my is 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 possible is is my is a uh, derange this this night. Okay, so but yes, but uh, both of them are in are in past, right? Past and real, past for and real oh, situations. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. But um. So my is a small probability and may is possibility. For example, so you can see, for example, she might have had a baby. Ella pudo haber tenido un bebé. She might have had a baby porque yo la vi embarazada. O sea, yo vi que estaba embarazada. Entonces, might, right? Is a past and real small probability, ¿verdad? Entonces, en este caso, este, estoy deduciendo que ella pudo haber tenido ella podría haber tenido eh, un bebé porque yo, la, yo vi yo vi el estómago y en este caso y en este caso o sea la probabilidad no sería más en, enfocado en el hecho de que ella pudo haber tenido un varón o una niña o sea que es la probabilidad o sea que es lo que lo que pudo haber dado a luz perdón uh, cómo así <risa> o sea <risa> porque está embarazada entonces la probabilidad es que pudo haber tenido ya sea niño o niña no ajá <risa> sí o sea es la, o sea, es que yo veo la probabilidad en términos numéricos, teacher, en términos uh -huh. de, de opciones, o sea, en eso, o sea, por eso es lo que tengo yo en la, uh -huh. ahorita en la idea, ¿me entiendes? Cuando usted me dice probabilidad. Yes. Pero es que se usa might porque él la vio embarazada, ese uh -huh. es como un, una prueba. Ajá, una prueba, ajá, es a uh -huh. proof. Uh -huh. ajá, uh -huh. ajá, o sea, si fue niño o niña, o sea, está bien, uh -huh. no hay problema por eso. Pero, ah, o sea, o sea eh, que no es probabilidad numérica, sino que es probabilidad, o sea, por ser probado. O sea, ah, por ver, ver o tener un ajá. dato. Por ajá. ejemplo, aquí hubo fuego, o sea, porque veo la semilla. Ajá. It might have. Okay. Ha ajá. Yes. But usually, usually when you, when you uh, talk about probabilities, you have to, me to measure probabilities. As you say, 
uh, it's going to rain because it's a seventy-five percent to probabilities. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, yeah, so, yeah. so probabilities probabilities can measure. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. And and possibilities no, at least and mathematic. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, yes, y, right. Y, y la posibilidad yo lo veo en términos de que es algo que no manejamos, nadie lo maneja, That, o sea, sino yeah, que no, es algo que puede ocurrir measure, you al can azar. Measure, you cannot measure possibilities. Uh -huh. Yes, mm -hmm. now in English. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so in May, in May is a possibility, right? It's a possibility. Um, so when you, for example, when you have the certainty that something could happen, right? Okay, but teacher. maybe it could happen or maybe it couldn't. Yes. Uh, I also I've been seeing may when you are asking a question instead of using can, I've been yes, hearing it's more may. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's In more present, polite. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. simple present. Yes. 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 Exactly. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you so much. So, but the difference between them is. Uh, it's a slightly is the a little difference between them. So um, the thing that you have to have in mind is that my is a, a a small probability, right? It's a probability. In May because you have a, the the proof porque tiene las pruebas might. Okay. In cambio, in May it could happen or it it cannot happen. So and it's possibility, right? Posibilidad y probabilidad. Por ejemplo, por ejemplo, teacher, es la cuestión de que eh, may, en, el, en el primer ejemplo, may podría ser, o sea, eh, si llevas la llanta muy lisa, vamos a tener un accidente, ¿no? En el, mm. Y en el otro caso es, o sea, si sal, eh, saliendo a la calle, o sea, cualquiera puede tener un accidente, ¿no? O sea, mm. es, es una probabilidad, es algo no, que no está manifiesto, que no hay una prueba tangible, sino que es una probabilidad yes. que pueda suceder. Ajá. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Aquí en las oraciones, como ustedes pueden ver, pueden usar my have o may have gone to the bank, right? Hey, she might have gone, gone to the bank. Hey, uh, probablemente. Probablemente. She might. Ella debió haber ido. Ella, pero en español decimos ella debió haber ido al banco, ¿verdad? She might have gone to the bank. O ella pudo haber ido al oh, banco. Ella probablemente habrá ido al banco. Ah, 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 exactamente. Yes. Ha al banco. Ajá. Ah, ella probablemente fue al o ella, banco. O ella posiblemente fue al banco. Ajá, ajá, ajá exactamente, right? So you uh -huh. have here, uh, I have a chat. I'm still working. Ah, ok, no problem, Alejandro. Eh, Nelson, it's ok. Ok, I, I already... Es como eh, un podría. Podría eh, haber eh, ido. Ajá, uh -huh. el... Eh, Okay, but cool. Uh, remember that you have to use cool ah, when it's yeah, an ability, yeah, yeah, yeah. But because it's the past of can. Cool yeah, is for yeah, abilities. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Podría yeah. haber hecho esto. Podría. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so okay. Y en este caso podría ser la cuestión de la oración inicial de she made y she might she might she might she might 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 might. might. Yeah. Uh, have gone uh, to bank is uh, porque la chica también eh, sabía que ella tenía que ir al, al banco a pagar algún recibo o algo por el estilo. Ajá, yes. Ajá, yes. Ajá, es eh, una, como prueba. Una, una prueba. Uh -huh. Es una probabilidad, ajá, de que, ajá, de que ella tenía que ir al banco. Ajá, porque tiene una prueba, una certeza. Uh -huh. Yes, you are right. Okay, now. Uh, so, volunteers to help me to read. Uh, si no, ya no va a acabar el tiempo. Vamos a ver, ok, ya solo me quedan 22 minutos. Eh, corramos. Eh, volunteers to read A and B. Eh, ¿Quién me ayuda a leer la A y I, la B? I wonder, I wonder, uh, ok, Maritza, letter B. Ajá, en David, letter A. Ok, I wonder why uh, Sheila hasn't uh, come back from lounge yet. Hmm. I am not sure. Hmm? She gone to the bank. Uh -huh. She might, she might, también es, she might have. Okay. She might have gone to the bank. Mm -hmm. Might have mm -hmm. gone to okay. the bank. Okay, va David, va David. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're right. El mm no lo hizo. Yes, mm -hmm. I, mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's right. Es que, es que fue un, un suave. 
Um, ah, okay. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Very good. Okay. So I wonder why Sheila hasn't come back for lunch yet, right? I'm not I'm not sure. She may have gone to the bank or she might have gone to the bank, right? Mm, uh, maybe you're right. Now, so we have I I wonder why, right? I wonder is very common in English. You use when you reflect about something that you have done or something that you are going to do, you use the, that expression. Mm -hmm. I wonder, me pregunto, y usted dice lo demás, pero, <laughs> I wonder why I'm studying English. I wonder why I'm studying French. I wonder um, why I am, I am what? <laughs> I am, uh, okay, I overslept yesterday or something like that, right? Okay, so I wonder is very common. Um, so you have a, the boat was late for the meeting. So you have a, this expression, right? Boat was late for the meeting. Uh, Professor Jones didn't come to the class yesterday. So uh, you are going to use the expression, I wonder why. He va a cambiar esta, ¿verdad? Esta de aquí. Was late for the meeting. Ajá. Uh -huh. And so in the probability, you are going to say, bueno, esto de celeste lo va a dejar igual. Mm. El mm, que dijo David, lo va a dejar igual. <risa> ese, soñó, el, ese sonó como el, el muchacho del Oxxo. Mm. Mm. Ah, bueno, ahí sí sonó igual. <risa> el I'm not sure también lo va a dejar igual. Entonces lo que va a cambiar aquí es eh, con la, using the other sentences, eh, is this one. She, eh, todo esto sería en vez de esto, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ok. Ajá, instead of this. Ok, ahí tenemos, oops, oops, tenemos cuatro. Eh, eh, en el nombre, well, hagamos la number four. Miss the bus. Miss the bus. And you have uh, in the first sentences, Jimmy was late for school this morning, right? Jimmy was late for school this morning. Entonces sería, I wonder why. The Jimmy orange. was late for school this Ajá, morning. Ajá, this morning. Ajá. I'm not sure he... He might, I might have, have that. I might, might have. Um, el verde. The green. Last. Last. Miss. Yeah. Miss. Miss. Oh, no, la, oh, que no, oh Miss. No, no, no se ve, teacher. No se ah, ve. Se ve. Miss the bus. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ahorita le mando la foto. Miss the, miss the bus. Ah, ok. Ve, aquí, the bus. Sí, aquí sí lo veo. <laughs> sí, pero yo solo veo la, 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 la subrayada la en amarillo. Ah, la parte naranja. naranja. Ok, ahí va. Ok, here you go. In the WhatsApp group, you have it, okay? Okay, and there you have it. Aha, uh -huh. he, entonces podría ser he, porque varón, verdad? He might have, or he, he may have, have missed have. the bus. Missed the bus. The bus, excellent, very good. Mm, maybe you are right. Y el mm de David lo dejamos igual. Mm, maybe you are right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going to wear in one, two, or three, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay? It's okay. Okay. Yes, it's okay. Esta parte de arriba, yo creo que se puede quitar, ¿verdad? Pero no sé cómo. Mm -hmm. <ríe> no, no, no. <ríe> bueno, oh, no. Porque si lo hago más pequeño... No, creo que se vea tanto, ¿verdad? Se va a ver borroso incluso. Do we have to... Oh, oh. Only yeah, one. Do we, do we have... Ah, oh, only one. Okay. Just one. Yes, just one. Just one. Uh -huh. Remember that is, I wonder why, y le pone lo de anaranjado, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I wonder why, y lo de anaranjado. I wonder why, and the orange one. I'm not sure, sería la otra. Lo de celeste lo deja igual, ¿verdad? Y lo, the green one, the, the green sentences is going to be instead of the green sentences, right? But the very is in past participle, right? The very in past participle. I wonder why. I wonder why. And the lemon tree, the song. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Yes, I uh -huh. wonder why. <laughs> the told me that the blue, blue sky. <laughs> That's nice, very good. Teacher, mm -hmm. teacher, I'm wondering if you are studying in French or or you're still as uh, I already graduated. I already ah, graduated. Okay, okay. 
from language modernas, modern languages. Um, yeah, uh -huh. from from uh, Salvador University. Yes, yes, oh. yes. I I graduated uh, like like eight years ago. Was around oh, what? Oh, a long time ago. <laughs> yes, around eight or ten years ago, something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, one nice. day I, I will travel to Paris. <laughs> and I'm oh, gonna yes. practice my French. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> okay. That's nice. Very good. I speak a little bit French. Oh really? Just a little bit. Sorry? Ah, okay. Okay. That's nice. Very good. But, but I French. can have a, a, a little conversation. <laughs> ah, okay, that's nice. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. Yes. A mí porque siempre me gustaron los idiomas. Siempre. Estoy estudiando portugués. Algún día, cuando ya me jubile, trabajaré en un call center y poder trabajar en cualquiera de las fuentes. <risa> yeah, yeah. Tell us or the other one. Ah. en la Academia Europea? <risa> dicen que no pagan tan bien. Así dicen. No, 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 sé. Ah, no, no, no. No, sé. <risa> no, 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 no. I was, I was working with them. Oh, really? Yes. Ah, okay. No, uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't never worked with them, so I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna continue. <laughs> yeah, only 15 minutes. Okay, so uh, so the number one, uh, any one of you wrote the number one? So Me, I teacher? wonder what. Ah? Me. Okay, Milagro. I wonder why. I wonder why Bob was late for, for the meeting. Hmm? Let it be. I'm not sure. He might have got stuck in traffic. Uh -huh. Um, mm. he may have uh -huh. um got in, got, got in gotten stuck, stuck mm. in traffic. Mm. Mm, maybe you're right. Okay, excellent, very good. Nice. Teacher. Yes. But but that verb, the past participle can be got too, right? Got uh, or garden. Got or garden. Uh, so uh, in informal English, yes. Uh, but the formal is garden. Mm -hmm. It's garden. Oh, yes. Okay. Get, got, garden. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Get, got, garden. Mm -hmm. got the formal one. Yes. Mm -hmm. In the number two, I wonder why professor, huh? mm -hmm. who has the number two? I have it. Okay, Patty. Um, Professor Jones di didn't uh, come to class yesterday. Hmm? I'm not. I know. I'm not sure. He. I'm not sure. He hmm. might be sick, or he may be sick. Mm -hmm. May might have been sick, or ah. he may may have been sick. Excellent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're right. Excellent. Very good. That's nice. Ooh. Okay. The number three. Okay. Volunteer for the number three. Okay, Norma. I wonder why Mr. and Mr. Lane didn't come to our party. Hmm? I'm not sure. They might have gone forget about it. Uh -huh. hmm. Maybe you're right. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Excellent, Norma. Okay. So, yes, they might have forgotten about it. They might have forgotten. Ellos... Uh, Que sería, podrían, ajá, podrían haberlo olvidado, ajá, podrían haber olvidado eso, ajá, eso, podrían haber olvidado eso, ok, ok, so, no more questions about this, no, ok, now in the last activity, I think it's going to be the last activity, so we are going to, uh, you're gonna, uh, we're gonna discuss this in breakout rooms, right, around uh, four or five minutes, so, uh, this is the homework about yesterday. Ah, uh, practicamos la conversación ayer. Uh, no, ¿verdad? This conversation? No. No, you didn't practice no. the conversation. No. Okay, so you have a, I should have married Stephen, right? Why no. do you think that? Well, I might have had children by now. Could be, but you never know. You might not have been happy. True. Okay, so in breakout rooms, you're going to practice this conversation. I'm going to send you the picture para que uno de ustedes la proyecte. 
Okay, I'm going to send the conversation to the WhatsApp group. Okay, ahí vamos. This is, okay, so I'm going to make the breakup rooms. Let me, give me a, a second, a second. ¿Dónde está? Aquí está. Okay, so four. Ahí hacen, uh, in pairs, you can practice the conversation, right? A and B, A and B, right? Okay, okay. Okay, so let me see. Okay, allí deciden quién es este... Ok, uh, vamos a ver. Si, si gusta, se queda eh, aquí. Se queda eh, eh, Joana Michelle Cetino. También se queda eh, Norma Elizabeth. Lucía, are you here, Lucía? Lucía, Lucía. Oh, no, today is not here. Ok, so, eh, quiero ver quién más. Joana Michelle Cetino, Lucía, Mónica Reyes. Eh, Sandra, también se queda, please. Okay, don't go to the breakup rooms. Stay here. Okay, you can join. All, we only have 10 minutes left. So, uh, okay, se pueden unir ahorita y pra practice the conversation. One of you, eh, can you uh, present, project the conversation, please? The conversation that you have. Okay, Milagros, eh, díganle Milagros que ella proyecte, ¿verdad? Juan o Juan David. Eh, Merin, díganle a Merin que proyecte también. Y a Geraldine también que proyecte. Eh, quiero ver. Ok, Mónica. Okay. ok. So here we go. Ok, can you practice the conversation? ¿Quién no se me ha ido todavía? Quiero ver. Let me see who. ¿Dónde veo esto? Ok, who is right now available? Eh, Mari. Mi teacher. Ok, so, ok, aquí estamos. Okay, hello. Uh, okay, Sandra and Norma, can you practice? Can me dijo me? Michelle. Ah, okay, Michelle. Joanna Michelle, can you practice the conversation with uh, Norma, please? Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. I should have Mary Stephen. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that? Well, I might have had children by now. Mm -hmm. All the but but you never no. know mm -hmm. you might not have been happy true excellent very good nice very good okay somebody else uh, let me see who uh, sandra asensio será que practica la conversación con con quien margarita abigail está disponible margarita o irma hello uh -huh. Ok, Margarita, ¿qué, puede practicar con Sandra. Usted es la B y Sandra es la A. I should have okay. married. I should have married Steven. Hmm? What do you think that? Well, I might have had children by now. Could be, but you never know. You might not have been happy. True. Excellent, very good, very good. Ok, that's nice. Uh, no sé si eh, quiero ver quién más está. Ok. Uh, Carlos José Asensio, hello. Hello, Charlie. Charlie, Charlie. Creo que ahorita no está disponible Carlos Asensio. Ok. So, we are going to wait one more minute uh, for your classmate. Ah, creo que. Ok. Bueno, en todo lo que se cierra en los breakout rooms, creo que ya han practicado sus compañeros. Porque necesito pasar la asistencia también. Tenants as well. Ok, este, este, este tema está eh, claro o tienen alguna pregunta? Eh, Sandra, este, ¿qué más? Eh, ¿dónde están? Sandra Asensio, I don't know if you have any questions so far o Norma. Recordemos que siempre vamos a utilizar el, el shoe, el cu, el wu, el might, el mate. Después de eso vamos a usar have, 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 en todas. En todas va a ir have, have, have. Y después va a ir el verbo, pero el verbo va a ir en pasado participio. Cuando digo pasado participio, no es pasado simple, ¿verdad? Ok, tenemos el verbo, en los listados de los verbos tenemos present, past y past participle, ¿verdad? En todo cualquier listado de verbos tenemos present, past y past participle. El past participle es el que utilizamos para... Eh, usarlo en estos en estos en estos modos, ¿verdad? 
Entonces, no hay, uh, eh, para los verbos regulares, el pasado y el pasado participio es el mismo porque terminan en ed. Pero con los irregulares es la cuestión de que no, no son iguales, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, go, el pasado es went. Y en este oraciones no podemos utilizar went. Vamos a usar gone, el pasado participio. El pasado participio lo vamos a encontrar siempre en la tercera columna del listado de los verbos, ¿verdad? Ok, do you have more questions? ¿Tienen más preguntas? Yo sé que no, no puedo... Sí, sí. Ah, sorry. Hello, hello. Ok, uh, I'm going to pass the attendance because we almost finished. Todos regresaron ya. Es el último attendance, por favor. David, it's okay, David, don't worry. So, I'm going to see you later on. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs> ok, I hope so. Ok, uh, so, uh, the attendance, where do I have the attendance? En todo lo que regresan los otros compañeros. Ok, so, here we have... Teacher, teacher. Yes. I would like to ask you something, but, but in Spanish, because... Yeah, I... sure. Ok. Eh, ¿Cómo hacemos para pedirlo a usted? Porque nos mandó una, eh, un, un contacto, pero no sé si cada uno tiene que hacer la petición o podemos hacer el grupo, o qué, vamos, ¿qué podemos hacer? Uh, eh, bueno, ella creo que, eh, eh, hasta donde tengo entendido, Elena es la encargada. Este, ¿Cómo se llama? Uh -huh. Primero es de preguntarle a ella... Este oh, que Ajá. uno de nosotros, uno de nosotros le pregunte cómo, uh -huh. cómo sería la forma. Okay. Ajá. Sí, sí, sería buena idea sí, que uno de ustedes le pregunte. Uh -huh. okay. ah, pues, Juan David es la persona indicada para preguntar. Oh. <risa> oh. oh. Okay. So you have to send a eh, to her, right? Uh -huh. okay. ¿Están, okay. Segura, okay. ¿Están seguras que quieren que yo pregunte? No, Pati, pensemos lo mejor, pensemos lo mejor. I'm, I'm wondering if, I, if it's a good idea. Ok, that's nice. So, I'm going to pass the attendance. Eh, Ana Yamilet, present. Hello. Eh, Carlos José Asensio. Stephanie Saraí. Stephanie. Hello. Present. Ok, very good. Eh, Geraldine, present, right? Ahí la vi. Ingrid Maricela. Present. Ok. Eh, a Irma Adriana Segura. Hola, Irma. ¿Vieron por ahí a Irma? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, me acuerdo haberla visto. I remember... No, no, no recuerdo. No, no today. No recuerdo, no recuerdo. Eh, yo me pareció ver una Irma por aquí. Ok. Eh, Joana Michel. Sí, ahí sí la vi, me acuerdo. Sí, yeah, present. José Alejandro is working. Juan David, working. <laughs> no, mentira. Okay. <laughs> Carla Belisa Colocho. Mm -hmm. Ok, that's nice. Eh, Kevin Josías. Kevin Josías, no sé qué le pasó, que ya no lo volvió a ver. Ni yo, pero él antes en el curso anterior tenía una voz de locutor, teacher. De pero... veras. <laughs> así, así se lo digo. O sea, era ah, una sí, voz... el locutor, el locutor, ya me acordé. Sí. Solo como unas cuantas veces estuvo, ¿verdad? Okay. Yeah. Lucía Elena. Lucía Elena. Hello, Lucía. Quiero ver. Let me check it out. Eh, Margarita Abigail Tobías. Yes, ahí está. Present. Okay, Maritza Elizabeth Rojas. Yes, right, Maritza. Present. Okay, that's nice. Eh, Merin, present, right? Milagro. Present. Okay, Milagro, ahí está. Yes, Mirna Yanet Landos. Mónica Daniela. Yes, right, Mónica, yes. Present teacher. Nelson is, is working. Norma Elizabeth Lizano. Present. Okay, Patricia Esmeralda García. Nelson también está diciendo present en el chat. Ah, okay. Present. Patricia Margarita, yes. Um, yes. Ronald, Ronald yes. yes, yes. Okay. okay. Sandra, Sandra Elizabeth Asensio. Sandra. Present. Eh, Stephanie Abigail. Yes, right. Okay, that's nice. Eh, solo Irma, creo que no. Ok, y ellos dijeron en el chat. Ok, Lucía, present. Okay. Ah, Irma también dijo present ahí en el chat. Ok, ahorita le cambio. Ok, so if you don't have more questions so far, eh, para el parecer ya todos completaron este, la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, Así es, que Solo se me quedó Kevin Josías, que no sé qué le pasó al final. Eh, creo que le falta. Como que el, el trabajo, no, yo creo que el trabajo lo absorbió. Sí, a veces sí, así pasa, que ya el trabajo ya no nos da, este, ¿cómo se llama? chance de... No, chance. Uh -huh, sí, a veces, y, y, o sea, y recordemos que es el trabajo, ¿verdad? 
es también algo importante. Oh, ok. Exactly, yes. Exactamente. Bueno, Entonces, dicho en el nombre de todos los compañeros, quizás aquí sí me voy a tomar esa atribución. Discúlpenme si los demás creo que eh, queremos agradecerle, o sea, por su dedicación. Eh, uh -huh. Al mismo tiempo, o sea, ha venido a, a darnos una nueva perspectiva, porque sinceramente el hecho de estar interactuando en el chat con un docente y que respondiera rápido uh -huh. las, de los cuestionamientos ahí, o sea, es algo innovador para nosotros, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. al, menos, al menos yo lo veo así. No sé los demás si tienen algunas otras palabras que decirle. No sé si podemos robarnos un par de minutos para, para decirle, para que cada quien, o sea, exprese lo que, lo que quiere. Ok. Okay, realmente, realmente es un buen teacher. Este, esperemos que, eh, que pues siga aquí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Enseñando de la manera en la que nos ha enseñado a nosotros y sí hemos aprendido bastante de usted. Y pues siga adelante, teacher. Okay. Que usted, usted es muy bueno para dar clase. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maritza. Ahí veo que puso. Thank you for everything. Gracias a todos. Fue un placer compartir con cada uno de ustedes. Eh, me llevo una experiencia diferente. Eh, Agradecer de antemano a usted, es una persona muy dedicada, lo felicito, yo he dado clases en otros ámbitos y usted tiene esa, eso, eso único que tiene cada, cada uno de nosotros tiene una esencia y usted la tiene en la enseñanza, así que felicidades, que Dios lo bendiga y pues espero verlo en otro curso porque ya me matriculé en otro curso Okay. anterior a este porque yo me eh, equivocadamente me inscribí en este entonces okay. este eh, espero verlo verdad y pues eh, bendiciones a cada uno de ustedes y un placer ok thank you Maritza thank you so much thank you to all of you muchas gracias verdad eh, gracias sí, la, la verdad es que espero espero nos conceda aunque usted sea nuestro profesor okay. eh, le agradezco por todo el material también que, que nos ha pasado no he tenido tiempo de revisarlo todo uh -huh. pero seguramente va a ser muy útil uh, poderlo revisar despacio sí. así que muchas gracias porque porque realmente se ha tomado el tiempo y se ve que está comprometido con eh, con querernos enseñar a todos así que muchas gracias Ok, ok, gracias a ustedes por tenerme paciencia gracias. porque algunas veces la, bueno, antier la lluvia no nos dejó dar la clase bien oh, okay. y la vez pasada que no había wifi aquí, bueno, dos días pasé sin wifi, este, bueno, día y medio y que sí, a veces se dan complicaciones, ¿verdad? Espero mm -hmm. este, desearles este, muchos éxitos en todo lo que se propongan y Pero así no mismo, me ¿verdad? Quiero, ¿Ah? no, no me quiero quedar sin decirlo, yo fui profesor cinco años profesor ah. universitario. Ah, ajá. Y lo que logro ver en usted es que todavía tiene esa mística, esa, <risa> ese interés de enseñar eh, ah, okay. la, la dedicación, la atención, y le agradezco mucho por eso. Ok, thank you, thank you, Rana, thank you so much. Eh, sí, verdad, entonces hay veces limitantes que se salen fuera de nuestras manos, pero este, sí, eh, le deseo lo mejor a ustedes, verdad, y espero que también igual este, me concedan estar este, con ustedes en el siguiente módulo así que muchas gracias, verdad entonces nos seguiremos viendo, primero Dios una captura, soon. una captura ok, ah, ok una captura, okay. tomen una, okay. el que la haga Juan David eh, vaya Juan David no, no puedo en este momento, lo siento o sea, esta cafetera, esta cafetera ya no sirve en serio <risa> quiero ver si la puedo hacer yo ok, vamos a ver, aquí está aquí ya me salió ok, aquí está con los últimos que están ahorita Cabal, Ahí está. Así. Ah, sí salió, sí la vieron. Yes, yes, yes. Pero, pero no me la guardó. <ríe> ah, cómo no, cómo no. Sí, ya me la guardé, ya me apareció. Es que también igual la mía ya quiere renovación esta compra. <ríe> sí, igual, así está esta. Esta, por momentos reparo una cosa y se arruina de otra. O sea, es mejor no tocar. <ríe> ok, it's ok, it's ok. So, thank you so much for joining today. So, see you around, right? Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank you, 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 te